Hello everyone. Today's question is on TSD. This is a very good question because here we'll be dealing with multiple people. Otherwise, you would have mostly solved questions where only one person is traveling. So let us start reading the question. So the question is Rohit, Umesh and Yogesh travel from Haldwani to Ranikhet. They have a two-seater bike which can be driven by only Yogesh. Due to very strict traffic rules, only two people can ride the bike at a time. Ranikhet is 180 kilometers away from Haldwani. All of them can walk at 6 kmph but reach Ranikhet simultaneously. It is also given that they started their journey simultaneously. So here we have two places. One of them is Haldwani, another is Ranikhet. We have been given that the distance between them is 180 kilometers. We have three people, Yogesh, Umesh and Rohit who can walk at 6 kmph. We have a bike which has a speed of 36 kmph. This is given. It is given in the question over here. The first question is if the speed of the bike is 36 kmph then what is the total distance that the bike travels. Now the most important point to consider over here is they started their journey simultaneously and then they reached simultaneously. Now they would have started from Haldwani. So only Yugesh can drive the bike. He will take a person with him. Let him be Rohit. So Y and R that means Yugesh Rohit they will go on the bike and Umesh will be walking on foot. Since they are traveling simultaneously, they started their journey simultaneously. Now if Yogesh and Rohit they keep traveling on the bike, definitely they will move faster than Umesh. So they will reach earlier than Umesh. But we have to make sure that they are all reaching Ranikhet simultaneously. So how can this happen? First of all, Yogesh will take Rohit with him to a particular point in between Haldwani and Ranikhet. Let this be that point. He will drop Rohit at this point. Yogesh from this point will come back. He will pick up Umesh from somewhere between Haldwani and Ranikhet because Umesh is also walking at 6 kmph. Let this be that point where Yogesh picked up Umesh. He will pick up Umesh from here then he will move directly towards Ranikhet. Till that time Rohit would be walking on foot towards Ranikhet. All of them they will reach Ranikhet simultaneously. So this is the situation. So let me write it down over here. This is the point where R was dropped by Yogesh. As soon as Rohit is dropped at this particular point, he will start moving towards Ranikhet and at the same moment Yogesh will come back to pick up Umesh. So let me write why Yogesh will come back to pick up Umesh. Now Rohit when he will be moving on foot towards Ranikhet from this point, he will be moving at a speed of 6 kmph. This is clear. Now till the time when Yogesh dropped Rohit at this point, Umesh would have walked on foot because he also started moving together. So let us assume that Umesh reached here when Rohit was dropped. So let me first name the points. This is the point where Y picked Umesh and then they started moving together on bike towards Raniket. Now let me mention all the routes that the bike covered with red color. So first of all the bike moved from this point to this point then it came back here to pick up Umesh then it moved directly towards Ranikhet. And if we talk about the distance that these people are walking on foot Yogesh didn't walk on foot because he is driving the bike only Umesh and Rohit they walked on foot. So let me mention the distance they walked on foot by another color. So Rohit walked this much on foot and if we talk about Umesh Umesh was picked up from this point so he would have walked this much on foot. Now in the time when Rohit reaches Rani Khet and I'm talking about on foot because Rohit started walking from this point he would have went towards Rani Khet. In the same time Yogesh went back he went back he picked up Umesh and came back to Rani Khet. So that means the time for these two journeys would have been the same. So let us assume that Rohit walked for X kilometer on foot. So this distance that is mentioned in sky blue over here it will be x then the distance that Umesh walked on foot let it be y now the whole distance from h to Ranikhet Halwani to Ranikhet it is 180 kilometers so this distance in between between these two points it will be 180 minus x minus y I hope this is clear so let us equate the times when Rohit walked on foot he walked for x kilometers with a speed of 6 km per hour in that time Yogesh went on bike, picked up Umesh and came back. So when Yogesh went back to pick up Umesh from this point, he would have traveled 180 minus X minus Y. 
so this will be 180 minus x minus y and he went on bike so we'll divide it by 36 then he came back towards Rani Khed so when he came back towards Rani Khed this was the distance covered by him with Umesh on bike so this distance is this will be 180 minus y why because total distance is 180 this much from here is y so this will be 180 minus y so we'll add 180 minus y and since he is coming on bike again we'll divide it by 36 so this is the first equation that can be made so we can further write this as x by 6 this would be equal to 360 minus x minus 2y upon 36 this would cancel if we cross multiply and solve we'll get 6 is equal to 360 minus x minus 2y i can write 7x plus 2y equal to 360 this is the first equation that we'll get so let me keep this equation this would be 7x plus 2y equal to 360 this is the first equation i'll be removing everything else now when we talk about umesh on foot he covered y kilometers at a speed of 6 kmph this is known to us so if we talk about the time taken by umesh it will be y by 6 because this is the only distance that umesh is walking on foot it is mentioned over here this will be equal to this will be equal to the time when yogesh went on with rohit he dropped him there and then he came back and picked up umesh from here this point he picked him up and this is the point he dropped rohit so we'll add these two distances because this is the distance that was covered by bike and in that time umesh covered y so this is the time taken by umesh y by 6 this would be equal to first of all we'll take the distance from this h to this point where rohit was dropped this would be equal to 180 minus x because this whole distance is x so remaining will be 180 minus x so 180 minus x and this was covered on bike so we'll divide it by 36 then rohit was dropped then yogesh came back and picked up umesh from this point so this would be the distance covered by yogesh on bike it would be equal to 180 minus x minus y so 180 minus x minus y upon we'll divide it by 36 because then he was moving on bike so similarly if we solve this equation we'll be getting y by 6 equal to 360 minus 2x minus y upon 36 if we solve this further we'll be getting 7y plus 2x equal to 360 so this is the second equation that we get if you are unable to understand the scenario you can go through the video multiple times so we have the second equation as well first equation was 7x plus 2y equal to 360 now if we subtract these two equations we'll be getting x equal to y so now x is equal to y and we have to calculate the distance that the bike travels first of all let us find out the value of x and y so if we put x equal to y in this equation we'll be getting x equal to y equal to 40 now i have mentioned the distance traveled by bike in red color first of all the bike covered 180 minus x this red line then the bike came back to pick up umesh this second red line so this is equal to 180 minus x minus y then the bike went again from this point to rani Khet. so this is the third line it is equal to 180 minus y so 180 minus y so we can write it 540 minus x x x x x y are equal so 540 minus 4x if you put x equal to 40 we get 540 minus 160 which gives us 380 so 380 kilometer was the distance traveled by bike so option b will be the correct answer here so i hope this is clear it is only important to understand how they are moving once you understand that you can even make the equations in two minutes solving them is not very tough let us try to solve the second question now in the second one we have if the speed of the bike is 42 kilometers per hour then what is the shortest possible time in which all three of them can complete the journey so the only change needed in this question is we have to replace the speed of bike from 36 to 40 we'll have the same equations as the previous question so if you replace the speed by 42 in the previous equations we'll be getting these so if you solve these equations you will be getting 8y plus 2x equal to 360 from the second one you will be getting 8x plus 2y equal to 360 again if you subtract these two equations you will be getting x equal to y and if you put x equal to y over here you will be getting y equal to x equal to 36 so now we have to calculate the shortest possible time in which all three of them can complete the journey 
So if we check the distance that was traveled by bike before reaching Rani Khet, it will be first of all the red line it is equal to 180 minus x then it traveled back to pick up Umesh it was equal to 180 minus x minus y so 180 minus x minus y then from there it went towards Rani Khet covering a distance of 180 minus y so if you put the value of x and y equal to 36 now because in the second question x y is 36 we'll be getting distance told by y equal to 144 then it would be 108 then again 144 so if you add up all these distances they will be equal to 396 so this is the total distance covered by bike before reaching Rani Khet so distance would be 396 speed is 42 if you cancel by 6 you will be getting 66 by 7 hours so option C will be the correct answer here so I took quite some time to make you understand this I hope the explanation was clear if there is any doubt please ask again thank you